On today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. Second to last black heat tag going out. Once that last one sold, it's coming off the website. Got plenty of yellow. I actually do have quite a few leather key tags left. They ordered them from the guy who made them for me for free. Actually, a lot better than the other key tags, in my opinion. So thanks, Robert. What? You went outside yesterday, it was nice, and now you like a crackhead. I know. I'm also adding an extra little something something. I do have a bunch of stickers. All different kinds of stickers still, if you guys are interested. This one's going to Pennsylvania. I know what you want. Hmm. Come down this morning, the Condor's got a flat. I mean a flat flat. Must have ran something over at Chris's. Thanks, Chris. You were just saying the rear tire on yours and Matt's always goes flat. I have to figure out if there's a hole in here. I don't hear it, but I can smell it. I can smell that rubber. The old spit test. <laughs> Not leaking from there. My soapy water mixture. I hear it. There it is. That's what happens riding around a construction site. I saw some guys putting this on the end of a drill and spinning it in. Must have been a U nail. Yeah, there's another little hole right there. Right next to this one. Well, that's a first. Never had to do this before. Two holes right next to each other. Within like a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch. That's what she said! <laughs> I only have about 80 miles on these damn tires. Man, yeah, look at. There was definitely one there. Hmm. Hopefully. It'll work, they're so close together. That had to be one of those little horseshoe nails. Boink, boink. Pump her back up. I need to put about 24. Looks good. That's just crazy. We'll definitely keep an eye on that. May have to put a new front tire. So today in Cheesy's garage, I'm going to take this exhaust system off. I'm going to chop this catalytic converter out. Maybe clean up where that flange goes into the head. It does have a little bit of restriction. And see what I can get out of this pipe even further. That's right. That's tight. Let's check my bolts again, boys. Oh, yeah, they're tight. 
They're all tight. I'm crazy about that tire, huh? I think I might find two bolts that are this length. I hope I have that pipe. I suppose I should have looked for that before I started this project. It might be a good idea, huh? Here's the old exhaust off of Whitey. Boy, that's heavy. These should work a little better. Battery came in. It's just a baby. Bleeds old batteries working, so. I'll leave that in there until it starts to fail again. Picked a bunch of these trickle charge connectors up. Never can find them when I'm looking for them. <sighs> Stupid battery. Always dying on this thing. So if I went inch and three eighths, inch and a half, it would go over top of it. Yeah, do you want to go up there? You want to ride the bike? So inch and three eighths ID would slip right over it because it's inch and three eighths OD. What's the matter, crackhead? I know you want to go outside. Look at my balloon knot. Now he's happy. For the meantime, you can look outside. It's cold out, kitty. Well, look at that. Got a piece from when I was working on a mini truck doing a supercharger. See this pipe? Oh, it does have. I didn't notice that before. We'll definitely grind that out. A little restrictive there. You guys are right. You guys say this makes a big difference. I never noticed on the hawk when I did it, but we'll see. Pretty heavy though. That screen is the same diameter as that with a bunch of holes. I can always pull this off and drill that out later if I have to. Not so sure that that's going to be restrictive. At least I'll have a little bit of muffle. safely take off because that pipe goes inside this pipe so I'm gonna make sure I don't cut through the weld it's a lot better than it was though I like that helmet LED light so much I bought another one I know you can pop it off to put on a headband but Jeffro even bought one worth the money I'll put a link for that too Look at all that metal and grinding wheel. Much better. You got about that much of a weld all the way around. I could probably go a little more, but I'll keep it at that. This almost fits in there. I had a pipe expander that size. Almost. What the heck? 
am I gonna do about this now? I'll use it, but it's coming apart. Guess I'll order a couple of these. Didn't ruin your key tag, Robert. Originally, this was on the inside. Hopefully, I can mount it up to the stock locations. I do have a motorcycle lift, but you can see what it's used for. do it if I can get it inside that pipe if not I cut it a little longer because I can always cut it shorter <laughs> I got a cutoff wheel right there why didn't I use that silly let's use that straighten it up That's how it's done, boys. Old Harbor Freight cut off. Man, I wish I had a cone or something just to taper that. I mean, if I can get an eighth of an inch on each side, I'll be golden. I'm gonna tack it, take it off, and do my Moto Cheese beautiful welds so you guys won't tease me anymore. I have feelings, you know. Let's see what I got. I used to have two different sizes. Mm. Not this one. Mm. Just too big, guys. If I had a cone now, I could probably drive that on there just to expand it. <sighs> I don't think I have a cone that size either. What do you think? Think I could jam that in there? I only got to go in a little bit and then take it back out. That's pretty damn close. Think it'll work? We're about to find out. Of course, that end isn't perfectly square. It will be. See it stretched if I can get it out. <laughs> yeah. A little cheesy ingenuity. That should do it. Oh yeah, it's all I needed. Yeah, just like that. Welding time. Ninety-nine should be about right.
There, is that better? It's hard going around pipe. And we'll let it cool down, hit it with some stove paint, and see how we did. I've done better. So yeah, I guess you guys can still razz me about that. Wife's not home today so I can get away with it. And everybody keeps asking me, am I not happy with the way the condor is? I'm 100% happy. It's just, as I've stated before, the ZS190 is a vertical motor. It's balanced and it's overhead cam. So that'll rev out. I mean, you can get like 13,000 RPMs on that thing and it's smooth. Where this has no counterbalance and it's a push rod motor. So the maximum RPM with the cam that's in it is probably about 9,000. And all your power is about six to 8,000. You know, maybe somewhere in there, five to eight. Where on the ZX190, it's more like seven or eight to 11,000 it keeps pulling. But this has way more torque than the ZS190. I'm happy with it. This definitely trails better. I'll probably only be able to get 70, but I'll be happy with 70, but this definitely trails a lot better than a ZS190 because of that torque. These are off those little 50 and 70cc Honda motors, too small. I'll look up online if I can find these, it's like 40 millimeter, there we go. Three piece 40 millimeter copper exhaust pipe gasket oval. Oh, like that. Rectangular. Maybe rectangular. Order place done. I'll put a link for that too. Let's get this bolted on. Let's see what it sounds like. up that's a good sign you have to give the condor a bath and that lined up so that's a good sign try to pull these evenly that should be good that should be good and that should be good. See what she sounds like, huh? that for my cat and he leaves me oh look at that got my keepa card or kippa I don't even know how you pronounce that flat slide performance choke is on the left side sitting on a bike Idle adjustments on the left side sitting on a bike. Mixture is on the left side sitting on a bike. Even comes with some pilots and main jets. We'll try it out soon. Looks like I ran out of daylight today, boys. 
have to be another episode. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.